There can be only one. Well, technically there are going to be ten, but you get the idea. I have brought peace, freedom, justice, and security to my new empire. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we're counting down our picks for the top ten chosen ones in movies. Trust your instincts. Okay, okay. Build um, something! Build something! Aha! For this list, we're looking at each big screen individual chosen one based on their respective characteristics while taking into consideration their origin stories, the odds they face, and what's at stake. There are markings. It's some form of elvish. I can't read it. There are few who can. Whether a given character is going up against an authoritarian regime, thwarting the dastardly plans of an evil genius, or saving life as we know it, these characters each represent the only hope in their respective franchises. Note that a spoiler alert is now in effect. Judgment Day is inevitable. Number 10. Alex Rogan, The Last Starfighter. Alex, look! Oh my god, was it 900,000? <laughs> what young boy doesn't dream of finding adventure somewhere off among the stars? For teenager Alex Rogan, it seemed as if video games were as close as he'd ever get. <laughs> But his prowess at one particular game, Starfighter, catches the attention of the intergalactic powers that be. He's got a little proposition for you. Are you interested? I guess. <laughs> Starfighter is no simple video game, but rather an elaborate test used to find the very best pilot. Alex may have come from humble beginnings, but he proves that dedication, yes, even to video games, can make a chosen one out of anyone. Wait, when, when did the hangar go up? I told you! When Zor attacked! And where were the Starfighters? In the hangar! You mean they're dead? He risks it all, including having his robot replacement totally mess things up with his girlfriend, all for an alien race he's never even met. Now that's a hero. Alex, they love you! Number 9. Moses, the Prince of Egypt. Yes, Aaron, it's true. Pharaoh has the power. From a baby in a basket, adoptive son of the Egyptian rulers, to the savior of the Hebrews, Moses' path in life was as long and winding as the river he first floated down. River, oh river, flow gently for me. He may have been content in his royal life, but hearing the lullaby of his infancy unlocked something in him, leading him to flee Egypt and start a new life. But God, in the form of a burning bush, has other plans for the young man, and charges him with leading the Hebrews to freedom. Who am I to lead these people? They'll never believe me, they won't even listen. I shall teach you what to say. Armed with his shepherding staff and the power of God, Moses returns, with the ten plagues of Egypt in tow. He's literally a chosen one of biblical proportions. Ramesses, your stubbornness is bringing this misery upon Egypt. It would cease if only you would let the Hebrews go. Number 8. Ash Williams, The Evil Dead Franchise Truly. Nothing says I'm the chosen one like having a chainsaw for a hand. Like many individuals destined to save the world, Ash experienced his fair share of hardships. Two spades, jack of diamonds, jack of clubs! <laughs> He's forced to watch his friends and girlfriends become possessed and ultimately killed. Then he essentially has to undergo the same thing with a bunch of strangers. No! No! Until the end of Evil Dead 2, Ash doesn't necessarily come across as any sort of chosen one. He just seems to have a knack for killing deadites. Play the beast to the deadite! But when our boomstick wielding hero gets transported to 1300 AD, he fulfills a prophecy by falling from the sky and finally discovers his true purpose saving this ancient world from an entire army of deadites. Groovy. Hail to the king, baby. Number 7. Emmett Brukowski, The Lego Movie Playing dumb, master builder. No, I master builder. Oh, so you've never heard of the prophecy. When it comes to chosen ones, you're not going to find a bigger underdog than this guy. In a world where everything is awesome, Emmett might just be the only person who doesn't fit in. Emmett may not know it, but he isn't just different. He's special. You found the piece of resistance, and the prophecy states that you're the most important, most talented, most interesting, and most extraordinary person in the universe. 
In fact, he's the special, a person prophesized to save the LEGO universe as we know it. The only problem? In a world where the ability to build things is literally the most important skill, Emmett is a particularly unskilled and uninspired builder. The prophecy states that you are the special, the most talented. I'm not sure he's the special, actually, because he's not even a master builder. But he gets there eventually, growing into his role as the special and a master builder just in the nick of time. Your secret weapon? Yes, it's called the power of the special. Number six, Arthur, the sword in the stone. What do, you, what do you want me to be? I'm nobody. The story of King Arthur and his knights is literally the stuff of legends. His tale has been retold countless times over the years, but few interpretations are as memorable as the 1963 animated version. Hail, King Arthur! Hail, King Arthur! King Arthur's adult life certainly got complicated, but before all that took place, he was just a young orphan boy, commonly referred to as Wart by his foster family. Quiet, Wart. I'm trying to be. Had nobody asked you to come along in the first place. Through a series of fortunate coincidences and a more than peculiar apprenticeship under Merlin, Arthur winds up right where he needs to be to fulfill his destiny. He pulls the sword from the stone, reveals himself to be the chosen future king of England, and, well, the rest is history. You're making a fool of us, boy. Now tell the truth. But I did, sir. Number five, Frodo Baggins, the Lord of the Rings franchise. Gandalf? This hairy-footed hero is a bit of an oddity on our list, and not just because of his unusually short stature. Must I do? You must leave, and leave quickly. Where? Where do I go? Get out of the Shire. Make for the village of Bree. Chosen ones are usually destined to take on the role, but Frodo Baggins is picked from a number of volunteers based on one key factor. He is uncommonly good. Sure, the ring technically belongs to him, but who would entrust such a small, unassuming being with the fate of the world? We must trust now in Frodo. Everything depends upon speed and the secrecy of his quest. Gandalf recognizes that Frodo is the best candidate due to his truly selfless nature and lack of desire for power. Frodo isn't necessarily the only one for the job, but he certainly turns out to be a very wise choice. Glad to be with you, Samwise Gamgee. <laughs> Here at the end of all things. Number four, Anakin Skywalker, the Star Wars franchise. You are the chosen one! Shocking spoiler, Anakin Skywalker becomes Darth Vader. But as Qui-Gon Jinn insists, and Obi-Wan desperately tries to remind Anakin in their second-to-last duel. He is the Chosen One. He is the Chosen One. You must see it. Hmm. Clouded this boy's future is. Anakin shows incredible promise, unparalleled natural force ability, and, to put it in prequel terms, a midi-chlorian count that is off the charts. We need a midi-chlorian count. The reading is off the chart. Over 20,000. With his turn to the dark side, though, his destiny of restoring balance to the Force and bringing an end to the Sith seemingly lands on the shoulders of his son, Luke. Nonetheless, George Lucas maintains that Anakin Skywalker was, in fact, the Chosen One. He was simply chosen to go down a different path, one with a lot more murdering of younglings. I have seen a, a security hologram of him Killing younglings. Number three, John Connor, the Terminator franchise. And if someone comes off to you with an attitude, you say, eat me. And if you want to shine them on, it's hasta la vista, baby. There are two tricky things about the Terminator franchise. One, keeping track of the timeline, and two, keeping John Connor safe. First, the machines send a Terminator back to try and kill John's mother, Sarah Connor, before she even conceives him. His name is Connor. John Connor. But she survives, and John grows into a rebellious, smart-mouthed teen. Then the machines send another Terminator to get him. This way. Oh, this way. After T2 Judgment Day, the series may take a dip in quality, but John Connor's life sure doesn't get any easier. We stopped Judgment Day. You only postponed it. As the future and or current leader of the Resistance, 
He is predetermined to save humankind from a reality where machines rule. The machines, however, will stop at nothing to change history. Survival is what you taught me. Number two, Harry Potter, the Harry Potter franchise. You're a wizard, Harry. I'm a what? For many children around the world, Harry Potter truly is the chosen one. As the boy who lived, he's certainly famous in the wizarding world, but according to prophecy, he is also the only one capable of destroying the Dark Lord Voldemort for good. Something about you stumped him that night. That's why you're famous. That's why everybody knows your name. It's a lot of pressure for an adolescent, but Harry bravely rises to the challenge, as each new year at Hogwarts brings about more threats and calamity. That a boy, Harry. Your parents would be proud. Especially your filthy muggle mother. Apparently, the sorting hat made the right choice placing him in Gryffindor after all as it's less likely that someone from Slytherin would willingly sacrifice themselves for the good of his or her friends. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. The spirits are gonna be very upset. You know I am the chosen one. That's one because I've always understood the way my enemy thinks. And when I truly understand them. You also love them. Who are you, buddy? I... I'm the Dragon Warrior. Ah. Number one, Thomas A. Anderson, Neo, The Matrix Franchise. What is The Matrix? The answer is out there, Neo. It's looking for you. Agent Smith may prefer to think of him as Mr. Anderson, but when the average person who lived through the early 2000s thinks of The Chosen One, Neo is the first guy that comes to mind. Heck, Neo is an anagram for one. If you're killed in The Matrix, you die here, the body cannot live without the mind. Any predestined character is in for a tough life, but few have to deal with the crippling knowledge that they are just one in a line of many chosen ones, programmed to make the same compromise over and over again to ensure the survival of their species. There are only two possible explanations. There were five ones before me. Either no one told me, or no one knows. But Neo breaks free of this cyclical path, and in doing so, brings about real change in the world of the Matrix for the first time. Plus, he knows Kung Fu. He is the one. Do you agree with our list? In your opinion, who's the greatest chosen one ever depicted on the big screen? Just let it go! For more one-of-a-kind top tens published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Hey! I'll swallow your soul! I'll swallow your soul! I'll swallow your soul! <laughs> swallow this.